Today's question comes in from the Spander on Reddit. The Spander states that he's been watching a lot of videos and he's trying to understand why he's getting errors. Uh, he started out really basic. He's began rigging his head, looking into the artwork here. Uh, he's began rigging his head and he hasn't worked on the body. So we're going to go through and tell him how to fix the eyes. So right away I'm noticing that our left eye and our right eye have a left blink and a right blink in it. Typically I avoid including my blink in the same folder that has my pupil and eyeball. Um, that is a little bit a matter of personal preference, but that's because it can create problems. Um, it can create problems. We're going to create two new layers and we're going to drag them into the top of the head layer and we're going to name it left eye and right eye okay no pluses or anything and we're just going to move right blink into right eye up here and left blink into left eye and and that'll keep the blink from interfering with the eyeball if you're newer to this software it can happen and it can be really frustrating when you don't know why it's happening um so just to prevent that from happening We'll keep them in them separate layers. Okay, so right away I'm missing, I see we're missing some pluses. I like to let the coding do the work for me. When I open Character Animator, about half, if not more, of my puppet is already rigged. And that's because we do little things like add a plus there. And you would, of course, add one at mouth as well. But we're focused on the eyes for this video. So I'm going to add plus left eye and plus right eye. And plus left pupil and plus right pupil and that will make these items independent okay now another thing i want to check is stray pixels stray pixels can cause a lot of problems because our pupil is going to move and we're saying our pupil is only this big and it can only move within a space that's this big okay so zooming in and looking very carefully at our eye art our red eyeball this, this blue box right here, this bounding box, tells us the size of the artwork we're looking at. And you can view it by having your select tool, your move tool selected with hotkey V for Vance. Okay, so clicking on eyeball, I see we have too much eyeball. And pupil, I see if you look right in here, right, that's not gonna let me do it as a control. There we go, right in this area right here, you can see we have too much space. So a simple fix for that is we're going to have to take these smart objects. You see the little icon indicating it's a smart object. We're going to have to make it uh, raster. So I've selected my eraser tool and I'm clicking and it's saying the smart object will be rasterized. Good. That's what we want. Okay. Now what we're going to do is make sure we have the right one selected and we're going to take our eraser and we're going to go around the pupil. You don't want to actually touch it because we don't want to erase the pupil itself. We just want to erase that extra artwork that's in there causing problems. And if I select my move tool and hover over the pupil, you'll see we have a lot less bounding box around it. See, let's go to our left pupil. Left pupil is really bad. It says the pupil is almost the size of the eyeball. We don't want that. So we're going to select our eraser tool, click enter to rasterize it. I'm going to make it a little bigger about there. And we're just going to go around the pupil, erasing all those extra pixels. Okay. And now if we grab our move tool and hover over it, you can see it's a lot smaller. Here's what it looked like before. Here's what we turned it into. And I'm noticing the same thing with like face. So we have this extra space over here on the left. Um, you want to do that to all your artwork when you're working in character animator. You don't want any of that extra space. It can cause problems. Okay. So looking further, we have right pupil, right eyeball, left pupil, left eyeball. Everything looks good. Let's turn the body back on. Let's go and try to rig up these eyes. We're going to save. We're going to go into character animator and we will import Q&A right here. Okay, so we have our executioner and his eyes should be working. We have left eye, that's selected properly. I'm gonna come over to the text so we can see it. Left pupil, left pupil size. Now we have a left pupil tag here. We should remove that. You don't want a pupil inside of your pupil. So really in your layers, that's weird how it doesn't show, but here it does. Is this the right file? Save as. Oh, 
Okay, well, I'm not sure why we're getting a left pupil, because I don't have that over here. Interesting. Um, well, you don't want that. You don't want this tagged as a pupil, and you don't want this tagged as a pupil. You just want the above folder. Okay, and then you want to go to Puppet, Create Clipping Mask on right pupil, and on left pupil, create clipping mask. That'll prevent the pupil from leaving the eyeball. It'll disappear if it goes too far. Okay, so let's create a scene and let's see if our pupils work. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I'm in record, let's go to mine. Transform, let's position Y, him down, and let's go to eye gaze. We're gonna change it to mouse and touch and turn snap off. There we go. They're working right. The only problem is you're gonna get awkward. See like that right there. See, it's a little awkward as to how he looks. <laughs> um, and you can fix that by adding an eye gaze to each individual eye, but then you have to match them up. It's it's kind of a pain. Um, your head's not attached. That's a whole nother issue. I do offer uh, classes, consultations, uh, tutoring, one-on-one uh, -on -one work, essentially, if you do need that reach out uh, I can teach you how to do everything you need to know in character animator I hope this video helps you elevate your content to the next level and uh, happy content creating thanks <laughs>